Hello guys, hi, this is Ganesh Nayak. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career and make them a better version of themselves. And I also help CFA and FRM students to clear their exam in the first attempt. And now I'm back with one of my students who has been able to clear the FRM level one May 2022 exam. Okay, and he has been able to clear it in first attempt. He's also working professional. Now he's gonna be sharing with us his journey and how he has been able to do it. What are the strategies he used? What was his approach towards the exam? What challenges he faced so that other new students can watch his interview and get an idea about the exam. So with this, we'll start with the session. So first of all, Himanshu, thank you very much for taking time. It's very, very late and we are doing the interview. So thank you very much for taking our time. I really appreciate that. And primarily, before we start the conversation, just a quick introduction from yourself. Before you started the FRM, okay, yes. what were you doing basically? What was the status? Basically, I have done my MBA from uh, Mumbai University, uh, mm -hmm. specialization in finance. Then I was mm -hmm. uh, working as analyst in Sync Analytics. Then I okay. was got selected in Bank of India as a DRO officer, scale one. Okay. And so okay. since then, for, for uh, five and a half years, I have been working in Bank of India. And mm -hmm. there I come across people who are doing FRM. Uh, actually, to, to one or two of my colleagues did FRM. So I got motivated from them and I started. Okay. I, Developed my uh, attraction toward risk management, and I, uh, I decided to pursue FRM. So, what was the total experience that you had when you started the FRM preparation? Uh, total experience would be around five point five years. Five point five years. Okay. Now, when you picked up the book, okay. So, what was your first thought when you saw the books? Four books. You must have seen the curriculum. Actually, first. Yes, yes. Actually, I was uh, from small age. I have been a uh, little bit weak in quants. So that mm -hmm. book, after I looked at different topics, I was literally scared. Okay, <laughs> how will I do this? How, okay. how will I able to perform in this uh, book too? But uh, being an MBA student, I was comfortable with book three because uh, basically what uh, derivatives, swipes, and we, we had little bit introduction in MBA. So the book three was mm -hmm. fine. Book one was fine. Book two and book four was a little bit problem for me because uh, book four is also a little bit heavy on content. calculation. Yes. Uh, calculate, calculation heavy. Bond chapters are a little bit uh, easy because I mm -hmm. read it. But uh, other in bond chapter also there are certain new concepts like keynote zero one and that that chapters are really new which we haven't read so far. Okay, okay, okay. So now uh, when when you started the journey for uh, May exam May twenty twenty two exam. I started actually. I uh, I decided to pursue uh, to give the exam of May 22 in August, and uh, we I contacted you in September. To, uh, September I subscribed to your video lectures, and then I started preparing according to your plan, the schedule which you have given, and study I followed track, yes. step by step study study guide, and I was uh, able to complete by Jan uh, first revision. So first watching of all the videos by Jan, that was done. Yeah. How much, how much time you were giving from September onwards per day? And what was that after uh, office, before office? Uh, I, will, I Because the job is a little bit hectic uh, in banking side. So I was I used to sleep early and get up early in the morning at around 5, 5.30. I okay. used to give two or two and a half hour daily. Uh, and okay. uh, and our, in weekends, I used to give five to four, five hours or six hours for studies. Okay, so weekdays. primarily you started early around September. Yes. So you yes. got good amount of time till January end to yes, go yes. through the entire content yes. and make yourself Actually, comfortable, right? Actually, if you are working professionally, it is necessary to start early. If you are mm. average student, if you are some scholar type of thing, then if you are able uh -huh. to cover it, then it's, it's good thing. But if you are average student, then start early, it will be better for you and increase the probability of passing the exam. Yeah, and especially for the banking people, because right now in, in India, banking is now very competitive. So there's so yes. much work that uh, public sector bank people have to do. So definitely if you start early, it gives you an edge on yes. giving, going through it slowly. Now, uh, when you started your question bank solving? I started my question. I was still finished with my first revision on January. And after that, from February to first week, I started uh, uh, solving question bank uh, uh, according to a study plan. I never deviated from study plan. Same order. Same process. Yes, same order. Okay. And again, the timing was same, the two hours timing and all of it. Yes, sir. I kept that two hours timing uh, uh, probability till uh, exam same. 
in little bit there was some few ups, uh, system upgradation in bank of india so there was a little bit problem due to that and so in january february there was little bit problem but in since march it was again settled so i used to give okay. two, hour, two hours was so necessary to me so there was some okay. deviation in terms of that two hour in the month of feb uh, feb okay. january february was system upgradation so we used to do late setting new system we were not okay. aware how to perform it okay okay got it and so when did you complete your entire solving of chapter wise questions uh, by april april second week so from 15th feb 1st till april second week april second week yes and when you are solving the question bank you are also revising the chapter is it correct yes 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 okay and how were you tack tackling the difficult questions or suppose questions which you could not solve how are you doing uh, are i you used to i used to refer the videos if uh, I, there was some uh, actually then i used to download the pdf uh, uh, along with the question bank you have provided the pdf i used to go oh. through how step by step the questions are solved so I, right. basically almost all solutions i used to find by that in pdf if i have missed okay. someone or i have missed some step so i used to understand from them okay perfect perfect and then primarily after the what do you say uh, after solving of the chapter wise questions Okay, what was the next step that you did after second of week of April? Uh, then after second week of April, I I shortlisted some topics which were really tough for me, so like cons cons book, and so I uh, probably I have given that two weeks I specially kept that for hard topics which were difficult for me, and I concentrated on solving more than one question on them. If I have solved okay. once, I again solved it, so that I have idea basically how to solve the questions if it comes okay. in exam. Okay, perfect. Uh, did you solve my sectional test? My I had uh, solved. Uh, uh, I had solved few question as a sectional test. I won't say I was solving hundred. I was able to solve hundred percent due to the work constraints and everything. Okay. But I I had solved. Few. So you got leave also before the exam by any chance? Yeah, uh, that uh, that the one thing is uh, if you are a working professional, please take at least two or three week leave before exam. That will help. Uh, I I was lucky enough that my manager was considerate about it. and provided me the leave of around 3 weeks so i was wow. able to provide okay. a good time to study so then when did you did you solve the mock papers full full yeah i solved paper? i have basically solved one mock paper proper otherwise i used to download the pdf and i used oh. to solve the question and if i find something something difficult i used to do look at the solution i did not didn't uh, do that hmm. four hour sitting and solving I okay. did that for GARP GARP paper and one mock test. I only solved two with proper dedicated timer and everything. Okay. Now from the start till sub from September till the exam date, mm -hmm. what do you think were the major challenges that you faced in your preparation? Uh, major challenge, I would say that uh, certain topic which uh, are tough. You would uh, you would get demotivated while reading them or while you even looking at a video lecture. I I remember that uh, linear regression was totally new new topic, and when I looked at the video once, I was totally blank that what what you are <laughs> teaching and I was not able to connect at all. Okay. Uh, but I again looked at that video. Then I started little bit getting. I read the Swedish book. So the uh, slowly slowly I was able to get what the concepts are. But then uh, uh, if you see science time series as uh, chapter was even tougher than linear linear regression. Yes. It was till the exam was there. I was finding time series and probability chapter little bit tougher than okay. other chapters. I was good with a linear regression, hypothesis testing, and others. But in time series and uh, probability were tough. And problem was that in exam my paper was having time series. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but so apart from this, apart from the that, content. apart from the content what what was there i mean any other challenges that you faced uh, challenges uh, if you say external challenges that uh, uh, i had uh, as i mentioned there was a new system operation whole whole new mm. system come in came into the bank our our bank so earlier 2 3 2 3 months we were not aware how to perform we were given basic training but system were developing so we were lot of time raising, we were raising we were raising to the concern team then they used to solve the problem so that that phase was little bit tough I, as i was not able to give time which i would have preferred to give towards my study then otherwise okay. i was okay. no, no such constraints okay and now when you entered the exam what happened in the first hour of the exam 
uh, in first hour of the exam uh, uh, basically i when i go through the concept uh, my starting questions were little bit uh, theory -y. so i thought mm -hmm. that my question uh, my paper is more theory driven so i i read two three paper two three questions and i found that, that two three in two three question i was able to get that there are two uh, two question two options which are really close so i have to okay. give lot of time in uh, understanding them to and which which one to select so i i basically targeted that in one hour i should solve 25 questions hmm. so i followed that path and i was uh, able to uh, clear my exam comfortably with miss so there was no there time was problem for you there was no time problem for you no no in okay. end i was able to i was uh, allow uh, rush i had to rush with my 15 questions but otherwise there was no time problem okay now out of the total 100 question how many theory and how many calculations were there mm, around 75 percent were theory and 25 percent were uh, practicals out of the 25 were, were, were those questions easy straightforward or they were also complicated no i think uh, straightforward you can consider 10 questions were straightforward otherwise some were tricky or some other thing okay you have the to theory think part before the theory part what was the status what was how much was difficult and how many questions were slightly In easy theory, i would say 25 to 25 question was straightforward but uh, other was a little bit tough means you have to apply your mind you have to go through your concepts and then answer the questions we have to really think how how this how the question is flow is going and how how they what they want is as well answer okay got it got it got it and primarily uh, now when you came out of the exam you had any thought in your mind i have cleared i have got this much right some number i was confident enough that i had got uh, around 40 to 50 questions right because i was uh, i was uh, able to identify that these questions i, I am right but I was not 100% sure that they are right because they are two close options. Uh, two options are really pretty close. So it is not sure. Yeah, we can be 100% sure that it is the right answer. But I was comfortable that I was comfortable. Okay, I, I at least I would be able to clear the exam. I was that sure. That's why I was chilled out on the exam day. I, although I haven't said any, said said anyone that this question I was going to pass. But yeah, I was chilled out in that sense. Okay, and once the results are out, what are the quartiles that you've got? Uh, to I was book in book one, I had got second quartile. In book three, three third quartile. Uh, book no, no, in the order. Third. Tell me in the order. Okay, two, three, two, one. Two, three, two, one. Okay, so book two, still there was uh, some. Book two was uh, my weak point. <laughs> but book four, you got really good. One. Yeah, book book four. Uh, actually, I was very uh, in the end when. Uh, Few days before the exam, I was very comfortable with op option valuation chapter, uh, be it a binomial or uh, by Black Scholes model or Geeks, Greeks. Then uh, bond chapter, first four chapter, wise portraits and all those chapter, I was comfortable with them. And war okay. chapter was also I was comfortable. So that's why I was okay. uh, able to secure good in good good marks. Okay, now when the results are out, you must have informed everybody in your office, your friends. What has been the reaction? Of people, yeah, everyone is uh, asking, asking for party party. I at least prepared <laughs> that I have to go give them the, the, the party, give the, uh, the party. Yeah, so okay. I, everyone was uh, happy about my me passing, especially my parents, my friends, and everyone is happy now. Everyone is uh, hoping that I would go go to higher higher place where I want to work, proper and right. proper place where I, I want to work in risk management department. Currently, I'm branch banking, so. Everyone is hoping that I get my position in this management department. So now, primarily within public sector banks, also they they do consider FRM and they want to move people to particular. Yeah, they, uh, I I think around since last five years there is a little bit awareness about FRM and CFA. And public sector banks are also giving priorities in recruitment to FRM candidates and CFA candidates. So they I think they especially. Uh, bring out the advertisement for uh, CA, FRM candidates that they have a special position in risk management and they want FRM degrees. Otherwise, right. they don't want to hire other, other people. And when you also move internally, if you want to move to a different risk team, they will check if you have FRM. Or yeah, not. they will. They will definitely check that I have FRM degree or not. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if somebody asks you right now, give me three tips on how to clear the FRM exam. What would be uh, that three? Tips? I, 
I would say that if you are working professional, then start early preparation. That helped me, so it will help you also. Start early, then uh, develop a plan, proper plan. Okay, I would give two twenty uh, two hours, two and a half hours, uh, what according to you fits you, and I will dedicate that time. Don't deviate from that. You should at least give two hours so that it will. In the end, you won't feel burden that I have to study this. I have to study this. Right, right. And then follow consistency is required in studies. And uh, then uh, solve question banks provided by you. And if you solve question bank and try to solve every question bank so that you can understand how questions will be asked. Because if you go in question book, they are pretty simple questions. When when you are doing a question bank, then you will be able to understand the toughness of the question. Right, right. Perfect, perfect. And the question bank that you you solved the question bank of us. Exam question were were they close to the exam question, the actual exam? Yeah, question? in practical, uh, if you see in practical, there was uh, similarity, but theory question were little bit deviation. Uh, hmm. Question bank uh, questions were little bit different, and in what in exam were asked, they were little bit slightly different. different. Yes, yes. Slightly different. Because this time they changed it slightly in theory, the format. Yes, yes. They made it heavy, and mm -hmm. now what? So primarily the time. Was something which helped you in the start from the starting part, yes, yes. right? Especially also, if you're a working, working student, it will help. Right, and the best part that you also mentioned while talking that you dedicated a fixed slot of time. Yes. Every yes. morning, two hours, two and a half hour. If mm -hmm. you have that mindset ready, that uh, okay, every morning I have to do this, then there's no distraction. You know, you have to dedicate. You do it, and Saturday, Sunday, obviously, people do put some extra time. So definitely. Yes. That was there. Wonderful. If you are Wonderful. working in bank, then you won't have uh, Saturday, Sunday, second uh, first and every Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. That is also working. Yes, 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 yes. But I'm very sure that yeah, this FRM will help you to move to good roles, risk, yes. compliance, treasury, and that will yes, yes. bring good change in your career primarily. Yes, yes. And by looking that at your basic purpose. Yeah, yeah. That was my purpose to pursue pursue FRM. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Because now. Uh, if you are working so heavily, you have to give time to do something which which might add value to you also in terms yes. of your work. So you would prefer to go into good roles. But definitely your interview would motivate a lot of people within your bank, with the bank, public sector bank, but they can also clear the exam. Okay. Yes, and yes. because we have seen one more Turgesh Mishra, his, yes. his, his example, he has been able to clear the exam also. So yes, yes. banking people can clear. It is not like yes. that. They cannot go for such difficult exams. Okay. So the only thing is consistency that, that you, you had in your entire plan yes. and dedication. Yes, yes. So keep it very simple. If you proper time, more time, and you'll be able to clear. You will be able to clear. That's, that is right. So this, this exam, uh, this interview definitely is going to motivate a lot of people, a lot of students also, yes, yes. like how to mm -hmm. go about and clear. And if you can clear other bank, other working professionals and other banking people can also clear. Also, that is how. We have to look at it. So thank you very much, Imanshu. Thank you for your time and giving their time to the community, helping them uh, grow in terms of your experience in the exam. And this is going to be very beneficial for new students. So thank you very thank much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for giving this opportunity. Thank you. Bye, Imanshu.